Okay, uh, welcome viewers. So in this video lecture, uh, we want to talk about uh, this topic, uh, modeling with the help of a recurrence relation. Okay, modeling. with recurrence relation okay so we uh, want to solve uh, three questions uh, of this type okay so the question is this that for example Suppose that the number of bacteria in a colony doubles every hour. Okay. Now, if a colony begins with five bacteria, how many will be present in n hours? Okay. Now, let let a n uh, represent number of bacteria at the end of nth r okay now if you know number of bacteria at the end of n nth r okay how can we obtain this thing? Okay. Uh, see, before n, n at r, okay, you have n minus 1 at r. Okay. And it is given in the statement that uh, bacteria doubles itself uh, uh, after 1 hour. Okay. So, uh, what, whatever bacteria you have at the end of n minus 1 at r, okay, and if you double it, okay, uh, it gives you bacteria at the end of Anathar. Okay, so this is the condition, and uh, this is also given that uh, initially, uh, uh, initially the colony begins with five bacteria. It means that what is the value of a naught? A naught value is five. Okay, now we want to solve this uh, problem. Okay, this gives me the recurrence relation. Now, what I do? Uh, I find the value of uh, a one. Okay, so set n value equal to 1 okay so what do you get here a1 equal to 2 times a1 minus 1 which is a naught okay so this can be written as 2 into 5 okay 2 into 5 now next we want to find n uh, a2 value okay so set n value equal to 2 set n equal to 2 so it, it, it then becomes a2 equal to 2 times a1. But what is the value of a1? A, a1 value is this. Okay. So this is this is uh, 2 times 5. Okay. So this can be written as 2 square uh, into 5. Okay. So bacteria at the end of second R it is 2 square okay uh, into 5. So similarly at the end of n uh, this bacteria uh, it is equal to 2 raised to the power n uh, into 5 because if at the end of second r we have power here 2 okay similarly at the end uh, at the end of n uh, here we have power of 2 as n okay now this problem uh, can uh, be asked like this that tell us the bacteria at the end of uh, seven half okay so in that case you set n value equal to seven in this uh, formula so it is in that case it becomes two raised to the power seven uh, into five now two raised to the power seven is what it is 128 uh, into five now you multiply 128 with five so five eights are 40 here comes four uh, 10 plus 4 14 okay here comes 1, 5 plus 1, 6. So, at the end of 7th half, total number of bacteria present in the colony are 
to uh, sorry 640 okay so this is the answer of the problem now now we see the next question okay uh, this is a very very good question okay see uh, this is called rabbit and the fibonacci number okay now consider this problem uh, which was originally posed by leonardo pisano also known as fibonacci okay uh, in the 13th century in his book labor abaki okay uh, so problem is this that a young pair of rabbit okay one of each sex is placed on an island okay i uh, mean we have one pair initially young pair uh, on one island a pair of rabbit does not breed does not breed mean uh, they do not give the birth to uh, child okay until they are two months old okay until they are two months old they cannot give uh, the birth to baby child okay after they are two months old okay when they are two months old each pair of rabbit produces another pair each month mean uh, ab, uh, once they are two months old then the rabbit has the capacity to produce a new pair okay as shown in the figure uh, find the recurrence relation for the number of pair of rabbit on this island after n months okay assuming no rabbit ever die okay so you see that that here initially on this island we have this young pair okay because it is given in the statement and this is the first month okay this is the first month so uh, as this is the first month okay so this pair it cannot reproduce any okay a pair further uh, so it is a young pair okay so here you see that uh, here we have zero reproducing pair here we have only one pair so that is why the total number of pairs they are just one okay now uh, when the second uh, month starts okay again uh, this month uh, this uh, sorry rabbit uh, it is just uh, uh, I mean a second month old okay so here uh, we write zero okay okay because they cannot uh, give birth until they are two months old okay so that is why this this is the same young pair okay so here again the total pair uh, this is equal to one okay but once the second month is over okay uh, this pair of rabbit it comes over here okay this pair of rabbit it comes over here okay and now as this is their third month okay now they have capacity to uh, reproduce uh, one pair okay so this is what this is the young pair okay this is the old pair this is the young pair okay young pair and uh, it is the first month of the young pair one m represent first month of the young pair okay so here you see that we have one young pair okay we have one old pair so the total number of pairs they are equal to two okay now this old pair continues here okay uh, this old pair continues here okay and now uh, this old pair gives birth to new one young pair okay this is a uh, young pair okay this is and they are one month old okay uh, this young pair it is just one month old and this young pair this comes over here and it is there second month okay so you see that that here we have one old pair and we have two young pair okay so the total number of uh, pairs they are three okay now once this pair it is two month old then it comes to this side okay so here you have this old pair for this okay and now this old pair it comes over here okay now they have the capacity to reproduce so this young uh, this pair gives the birth to this pair okay and this pair gives the birth to this pair okay and now uh, this pair it is just one month old this comes over here okay this comes over here so here you see that that here we have two uh, reproducing pairs okay here okay and we have three 
young pairs okay so the total pairs they are what they are five okay so here what we do we uh, want to write the recurrent solution for this okay let let fn represents represent number of pair at the at the end of nth at the end of nth month okay so you see that that uh, how can i get this uh, fn okay suppose that that this is fn i mean this this is fn okay so this fn i can get when i add previous uh, two numbers okay or you can say that f of n minus 1 okay this represents f of n minus 1 and this represents f of suppose n minus 2 so when you add the previous two terms you can get the next term okay and what is the initial condition in the first month okay uh, when n is 1 okay uh, we have only one rabbit okay so one pair of rabbits so it is what f1 equal to 1 mean when uh, it is the first month now number of uh, rabbits uh, number of pair of rabbits uh, they are just one now f2 okay i mean when it is the second month again number of pair of rabbits they are just one okay so this is the recurrence relation uh, which we can form uh, from this problem okay i hope ki you people have understood it if you have not understood it just watch the video once again okay now we solve one more question okay so the question is this third question is this that suppose that suppose that a person a person deposits rupees Ten thousand, okay, in a saving account at the rate of eleven percent per year interest. been calculated annually okay how much how much amount will be there will be there in the account in the account after 30 years okay so you see that that initial investment of this person is 10000 rupees okay uh, because we deposit rupees 10000 okay in his saving account and the rate of interest is 11% now we want to uh, calculate the amount after the end of the 30 year okay so it is very easy problem so solution let pn represent amount at the end of nth year okay so how can you get this uh, amount at the end of nth year this is very easy for you have amount at the end of n minus 1th year okay and on this calculate 11% rate of interest okay so this whole thing can give you amount at the end of nth year okay So now uh, this can be written as P n minus one 
eleven percent means zero point one one uh, into P n minus one. Now, when you add both these terms, it is one point one one. Okay, uh, into P n minus one. Okay, and what you are given is that the initial investment is just uh, ten thousand rupees. Okay, it is ten thousand rupees. Okay, now next I want to find value of P one. Okay, so here your P n. Uh, this is equal to one point one one. P n minus one under the condition that P zero uh, equal to ten thousand. Okay. Now what is P one? In set n value equal to one into one. Okay. Uh, P one it is one point one one, and it is P naught. Okay. But what is the value of P naught? Uh, it is ten thousand. It is ten thousand. Now, what is the value of uh, P2? Set n value equal to so P2 is 1.11 uh, into P1. Okay, so 1.11. What is P1 value? P1 value is 1.11 into 10,000. Okay, so what do you get here? You get 1.11 whole square into 10,000. To 10,000. So you see that that at the end of the second year, amount in his uh, bank uh, saving account is this. Okay. Uh, so here similarly, at the end of the thirtieth year, this amount will be one point one one raised to the power thirty into ten thousand. Okay. So in this way, uh, you can solve other type of problem. so more about it will be discussed in the next video lecture thank you very much viewer for watching this video and if you like this video please subscribe my channel also thank you very much